Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and kind of a setup on this Cuisinart 12 cup programmable coffee maker. So I just bought this at Walmart. So they sell this at Walmart right now for $60. It hasn't been there very long. I just saw it come out. So I wanted to do, I wanted to buy it. I'm going to do an unboxing on it. It's got an instruction manual. Looks like it comes very well packaged. It's got two things of plastic on it. Looks like it's got this cardboard here to keep the coffee pot very nicely packaged. It's got a piece of cardboard here. It's got some cardboard here. There's the coffee pot, and it's got, oh, they, they even give you some filters, and a little scoop. That's, it looks like a, oh, a carbon, uh, your first carbon water filter. So this, that's a nice little kit they give you. A scoop, some number four cone-shaped filters, so you're ready to go. You just need some coffee. Okay, so I've got it unboxed. It looks really nice, really sharp out of the box. They call it a black stainless steel finish. And again, it comes with a scoop and number four uh, cone filters and a carbon water filter. So up here, looks like you've got to lift it up in order to get to everything. It does come with the reusable coffee filter. a little handle on it too so you can use the reusable or they give you paper ones here this is your filter basket that's nice it's got a nice little handle it's got the anti-drip on the bottom so you can get a quick um, cup of coffee out if you need to back here where the water goes looks really nice and here's your that's where that carbon water filter is going to go so you can filter your water i really like that cuisinarts are really good at filtering their uh their water and their coffee makers. You got your brew head on the side here, sight glass, no cord storage. Cord looks to be about, it's a two prong, about two feet. There's if you overfill it, it's gonna drip out, the, it's gonna come out the back. No, uh, no sight glass on this side. You know, it has kind of a plasticky feel to it, but also kind of a metal feel to it so it's definitely not your cheapy uh, all plastic coffee maker this looks real nice it's, this lid comes off real easy it's got a warming plate yeah this thing looks really nice Okay, so front to back, you're going to need about, 11, about 10 and a half, 11 inches. Side to side, about 7 inches. So unfortunately, this is a tall machine. And so with the lid all the way up, that's almost 24 inches, 23 and 3 quarters. So by itself, without the lid, it's about 14 and a half. So a standard kitchen cabinet, you know, is around 19. So this is not going to fit under a standard kitchen cabinet because that lid is... You know, it's pretty tall but it's got a nice big opening where you put the water and again this is where the coffee is going to go it's, it's cone it's going to take a cone filter it looks really nice okay so let's plug it in it does have one side is bigger than the other Ooh, the display looks really nice So it comes with a really nice uh, user manual. Cuisinarts are pretty good about their manuals. Their manuals are pretty well written. Yeah, very nice. 
So we're gonna go over, I'm gonna show you, show you how to set it up for the first time. Okay, so one of the first things we're gonna do, this is the charcoal water filter. We're gonna take out the water filter holder right here. We're gonna pull it out and we're gonna put it in the holder. Okay, so the instruction manuals want you to get a cup of, or a bowl of water and you're gonna put it in there and let it soak for 15, for 10 minutes. And I don't know if you're familiar or not with, with carbon filters, but they have a little bit of, um, the water's gonna turn a little bit black because they've got some dust on it that you need to get off. So you need to let it soak, fully immersed it says, for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna put it in the holder. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna put it in here, and then we wanna do a 10 second rinse under the, under the uh, faucet. Now, if you're in a hurry, you know, most some people don't let it soak for 10 minutes. I've just put it in the holder. You can see, see that dust coming off. You definitely want to make sure you um, do this. But you can just run it under water for about a couple minutes, and that'll do about run water over it to get the dust out of it. Okay, so now we've got the carbon filter rinsed. It goes in real easy. There's a big spot for it to go in. And there you go. So here it says, before brewing your first pot of coffee, it says they recommend flushing out the system. They want you to run just clean water through there. Do not add any coffee. So we're just gonna run a fresh pot. I'm gonna fill this up to the 12 mark of water. Ever wonder why coffee um, pots have this hinge lid i think it's so you can fill them up easier otherwise you're trying to get water in that little hole but i think it's so you can fill them up easier so here i have the filter basket i did wash this out with soap and water and i also washed this with soap and water and rinsed it now i've got it filled up with just plain water so i'm going to put the filter basket back in it goes in you really can't get it wrong i always try to see if you can get these wrong looks like it kind of make sure it's kind of recessed in there and then we're simply going to pour the water back here. This is just fresh water. Nice big opening for it to pour into. We're going to make sure we close the lid. So then we're simply going to come up here and press this brew button. It's got a nice blue LED light that comes on. And it's going to start. We're going to brew that water through here to kind of rinse it out and then it's ready to make coffee we'll throw that water away so i'm going to do uh several other videos i'm going to do another my next video is going to be a detailed review on this coffee maker i'm going to make a pot of coffee and i'm going to go over how to program it how to set the time it's all it also has a clean function so i'm going to show you how to descale this coffee maker also in a separate video so this this coffee maker does look really nice I think that's one of the main selling points is how nice it looks because it's pretty standard other than that. It's got an easy to program, 12 cup coffee maker, easy to clean, keep warm. So it's programmable. You can, that means you can, you can uh, fill it up with water in the back and coffee and it'll start a pot of coffee for you in the morning. That's pretty nice. Brew and serve. So it's got a 12 cup coffee pot. Clear view display. Yeah, the display is a selling point. That's a very nice display. It's kind of a different, it's kind of a black and white. A little different, but looks really nice. Clean indicator. So it's got this clean light. We're going to go over that. And it's called a sleek countertop design. Yeah. Again, it does look really nice. It is all curved. Um, Again, the, one of the points is, is the lid lifts up really high. And you don't want to lift the lid while it's brewing. There's the hot water coming out. And so this is a pretty standard, standard coffee maker. It says it keeps the coffee warm. So it's got a warming plate. So this is going to keep the coffee, uh, once your coffee's brewed, it's going to keep it warm inside there. So again, this was just the setup. I ran a fresh uh, thing of water through here. This is just water. When this is all done, I'm gonna throw that water out and then we're ready to make coffee. In my next video, like I said, I'm gonna make a, a pot of coffee. I'm gonna read the instructions. We're gonna go through the instruction manual and we're gonna make a pot of coffee. 
So again, this is just a dad. This this was my unboxing of this Cuisinart. Uh, out of the box, it looks really nice. Um, it comes with paper filters. It doesn't come with any coffee. It comes with this little scoop. It comes with a carbon water filter. So you're kind of set up ready to go out of the box, which is really, really nice. A lot of coffee makers don't do that. It does have a reusable coffee filter. Um, this is kind of all plastic. But it, you do get sediment when you use these, and you don't get sediment when you use a paper filter. But I'll go over that in my uh, detailed review. So again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.